So hello and welcome back to Gertrude's Adventures Around Azeroth. And I figured before we head on to the Azure Archives, we should do a few extra things around Iskara. Also, I just now noticed that those were two like boa constrictors just laying there by the fire. I don't know why I never noticed that before. Anyway, and I figured we would help out just with two, maybe three quests around here. And then on Friday, we will head back to the Azure Archives, most likely. Although I have been known to get very distracted by side quests. Yes. But let's check in with Hanu here, who says, Scampering scamps. I got this. Hello again. Could you do me and Norik a favor? Our kids, Nilo and Nao, left to play. They know that they should be back by now. I am occupied, so please find them. I doubt that they're in danger. My kids know how to take care of themselves. Okay. See you soon. So, babysitting duty. Let's go. We love babysitting duty. Or I guess, would this actually be considered babysitting? That's a very good question. We'll just go off here. It looks like the kids are way off in the wilds. Possibly getting into trouble considering there's bears out here. But let's go see. What is up, children? Oh, well, look at that. Come on out, little guy. We won't hurt you. Oh, very cute. Hey, Whoa, Nilo. Oh, what are you? Who are you? Don't get too close to that bush unless you want a face full of claws. Uh, Nilo, what are you doing? Want to fly kites later? Um, maybe. There's an abandoned knoll cub right there. Poor little guy's starving. Tasty tuskers. Me eat tasty tuskers. Well, okay, it wants to eat us. But don't worry, it's too weak to attack. <laughs> are you Mama sure? Mama says my tusks will be bigger than a mammoth. Ta says all gnolls are dangerous and mean, but this is just a baby. Ma always says I have to take care of now, and she's a baby. I mean, okay, you do bye. have a good point. Can we keep it? He's only trying to eat us because he's so hungry. Fish. Nobody can turn down tasty, ice-cold, raw fish. Oh, that sounds gross. <laughs> Frigid fish are the best ever. You can fish them up all over the ocean. But if you can't fish one yourself, Jink Tuck in Iskara will definitely sell you some. Bring me so many that he won't be hungry anymore. All right, so we need seven frigid fish. Okay, well, um, Next time, let's fish, go to the please. ocean and see if we can catch some fish. I mean, there just happens to be an ocean right here. That's so handy. Oh, look at Lonnie. What's Hello? up, Lonnie? You know the trick of befriending the turtles? You need to feed them. Want to try? Uh, give me some Next turtle time, bait. Bring fish, please. All right. Oh, look, we have a turtle now. Ah. Well, look at that. And then if you wanted one as a battle pet, which I already have one, you then have one. Pretty awesome. All right, I'm going to do some fishing. And one more fish. This is always the longest one. There we go. Seven frigid fish. Let's go see if our little, little companion actually likes fish. Come here, Scraps. We got foods for ya. You know what? There, thank you. Hello! So many fishes! I want to eat them all. But no, they're for Scraps. This is important. Okay. Wanna fly kites later? Scraps is gonna love these, and then we're gonna be bestest of friends. And I get a cloak out of it. Uh, okay, bye. Which is always exciting. <sighs> Hungry! Scraps eat tuskers! No, but Scraps can eat tasty fish. Fish? What is fish? So this is where you two ran off to. What are you? Oh! Now, kids, we've talked about how dangerous gnolls are. He may look cute now, but when he grows up... Fish 
yummy! Scraps eat fish! See, Ta? Scraps just needs fish. If we take care of him, he can be a good gnoll. All right. We'll take him in for now. But don't you be surprised when he runs off or tries to bite you. <laughs> okay, that was very cute. All right, we're going to go do one more very cute quest. And then one that will breadcrumb us to another area. And then... Yeah, Friday. I'm sure we will go off and rejoin Catlick. Alright, so this other quest, I'm sure lots of people have done because it's so incredibly fun. But the first time I came across it, I was so charmed. I knew that if and when I actually did this, I definitely had to get it on film. Ah, Auntie Connie, face. Rowie, you were the one that came back with the others from Brackenhide, weren't you? Then you probably know what happened to Kakwita. Her son, Rowie, has been distraught ever since Brenna and the others returned without her. I'll stay here in case he comes back, but could you look for him? I think he ran off towards the ice cave to the east. He said something about trying to fight the Yeti in there. Keep the balance gotcha. preserved. More babysitting details. But this is much cuter. Not gonna lie. Kinda love this. Alright, that is kitchen duty. I was trying to go towards the wrong thing. Alright, just about forever later, and we're almost to the ice cave. Huzzah! Also, if you didn't know it, and we may go visit after I do this quest, there's an underwater bar just offshore here in the Azure Span. Hey, Rowie, what's up? <laughs> Mama says my tusks will be bigger than a mammoth. I, I can do this. I'm going to take down the Yeti in this cave. I've never been any good in a fight training, though. All the other kids are way ahead of me, but Ma... Ma never got to see me get better. Maybe, maybe if I'm strong enough, she'll see. She'll see and she'll finally be proud of me. Oh, but Rowie, I, I have a final message from your mother. Rowie tears up. You, you were there? In Brackenhide? It must have been you, the adventurer that helped Brenna and the others. You spoke to my Ma's spirit, didn't you? She really said she's proud of me but i've never been good at fighting or fishing or anything else important to the tribe i have to prove myself rally you're probably not ready to take on a yeti on your own yet you you're probably right wait i think i have an idea okay next time bring fish please. what's your idea Thanks for helping me, you're nice. I mean, Wanna fly kites later? You're, you're right. I'm not strong enough to take on this Yeti. Not alone. But you're here. The lair of the evil Yeti. Toe Jam the Terrible is just ahead. This cave is big. Not scary. Maybe a little bit scary. Could you go in there and soften him up a bit? I'll be... I'll be right behind you. Okay, so you want me to help you slay Toe Jam the Terrible. Next time, bring fish, please. Got it. All right, here we go. We are going to slay Toe Jam the Terrible. There he is. Oddly enough, he's friendly. But you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. All right, Toe Jam the Terrible. We're here to slay you. Toejam looks at you with bright, curious eyes. Oh yeah? Well, here's my bow. Toejam's brow furrows and shakes his head. No. But, Toejam, I need to fight you. Roe wants to slay you. You're a terrible, terrible monster. Toejam looks at you with sad eyes. Toe Jam picks up a nearby Otak 
and begins to pet it. Oh gosh, he loves his Onyx. Um, Toe Jam, could, could you maybe just pretend to let Rowie kill ya? Just a little bit? Just a, a little fake out? Toe Jam, cocks his head in confusion. All right, what you gotta do is just watch me, okay? <coughs> Toe Jam considers this. After a moment, he shakes his head. Look, Toe Jam, okay, here's the deal. There's this Tuscar kid, and his mom just died, and he just needs a little bit of encouragement. Just, you know, a little something to give him some confidence, and, y you know... Toe Jam frowns. Frowns. Look, it's like, you know... <laughs> Poor little kid. Come on. Do it just for the kid. Toe Jam grunts in concern for you and tries to pass you a comforting otic, but it runs away. After a moment, he mimics you and pretends to die, looking at you for approval. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's exactly what you need to do, Toe Jam. Are you ready? Here we go. We are slaying Toe Jam the Terrible. Ah, it's so big! No, I can do this. Your otic stealing days are over, you fiend. Take that. Oh, boom. <laughs> Good job, Toe Jam. I, I, I did it. I did it. I'm incredible. This power, I must use it responsibly. I must train. I'll be the greatest warrior ever. Thanks, traveler person. One day I'm going to be strong enough to beat you. Ha <laughs> ha. Good job, Toe Jam. It's, it's totally over. Thumbs up. Good job. You did fantastic. Thanks. You're all right, Toe Jam the Terrible. Can I talk to you anymore? Oh, he's very bright and curious again. Anyway, I think that's probably the cutest quest in WoW. <laughs> Sorry about the terrible voice acting. As you can tell, I am not a voice actor. All I have is a lot of um, enthusiasm. Yes, I have enthusiasm. Anyway, as promised, now we're going to go do a little bit of a swim, and then we'll turn that into Rowie. But there is an underwater bar, and I need to remember exactly where it is. There's also a cave nearby. I think it is just off this way. So you know what? I'm going to do this the way I found said underwater cave, and that was by flying up and over until I saw a metal debris, and I'm pretty sure it's right about by this shipwreck right here. So let's go down here and check it out. I have this passion for finding underwater bars. They're just so much fun. And I just have to remember exactly where it was. I was actually out on my hunter who also happens to be a miner and an engineer. And there was a piece of metal in the water. So I came down and I saw something that kind of piqued my curiosity. So I swam over to it and discovered it was an underwater bar. And like I said, I just need to remember exactly where it is. I think it's actually a little bit further offshore. But I do remember keeping in mind that this shipwreck was a good place to remember it by. It's kind of nice having Gertrude. I don't have to worry about her running out of breath. Maybe when we're done with Dragonflight, I can just do a series where we explore underwater with my wonderful, forever able to breathe, undead character. It's even easier than being on a warlock because warlocks, although you can do underwater breathing, do have a little bit more difficulty in that you have to recast it periodically. All right, well, let me swim around a bit and I will find this bar. All right, I figured out what my problem was. I was in the wrong cove. So, 
<laughs> Let me pull it up on the map in case you want to take a trip to this bar. It is in this cove here, near the island with the sledding Tuscar children. You can recognize it by all of the kelp that is on the surface and this little island sticking up there. And then when you swim down, you'll see a whole bunch of friendly stuff down there. Very, very far down. And that is where the underwater bar is. It's full of very cute little autucks and a bartender, just like all the other underwater bars. Very cool, very cute. I made it a kind of obsession finding these in BFA, and I was happy to see them in Dragonflight as well. I've only found two in Dragonflight, so let me know if you found any more, but this is the Drifter's Dive. Also, not too far away from the Drifter's Dive, there is a cave that has a rare in it that I'm not sure what the point of this rare is, but if you need to know where Mankatik, the spirit of the deep, is located, it's right by this underwater bar. So, not sure why you would need this, this thing, but it's, it's here, in case you wanted to know the weird things that you find while just doing some exploring in World of Warcraft. Alright, let's go turn in the thing for Rowy and then head out and do another little adventure with some more side quests. Alright, that was a trek back, wasn't it? But that's okay, we are going to turn this in and uh, see what Rowie can give us as a reward. Although, honestly, in that quest, the questing itself was the reward. Have you found any more fun little side quests like that that I've missed? I probably missed a bunch of them because there is a bunch of the newer content that I actually have not yet done. One of these days I'll get around to it. Just haven't quite gotten there yet. All right, Auntie Connie. Come, tell us a tale. Goodness, what did you tell him? I've never seen Rowie so spirited. Thank you for bringing him home. I will do my best to take care of him in Kakuita's place. Thank you. We'll remember. All right, Rowie, what you doing? Whoa, what are I'm you? going to train the hardest and be the most legendary Tuscar fighter ever. I mean, uh, okay, bye. I have no doubt, my friend. And I think that this last quest that I would like to go and do tonight is from this guy. Well now, you're uh, certainly a surprise. Yep, you there, undead. You look well-traveled. My cousin Wayan was bringing a catch over from Whaler's Nook and mentioned that some strange folk have set up camp over there. They appear to be behaving themselves, but would you mind checking in on Wayan? He can be a bit salty. Alright. Let's go do that. Don't forget to take Checking some... in on people's family. That is what today is all about. Up we go. I feel like the side quests in... Especially in the Azure Span, but all through Dragonflight, are just some of the best that WoW has ever done, in my very humble opinion. I'm telling you, we don't need the fancy machine to test those crystals. Uh-oh. Protocol dictates that we run all samples through the geoscanner. You got the most refined geological palette this side of the wetlands in your camp and you want to wait for some blinking machine. You want to lick the rocks? Aye. I can at least tell you if they're work, worth hauling back to camp. Hmm. All right, well. It looks like we will be in for an adventure, and I think we're going to put this off until Welcome. Friday, but we're going to put this in. <laughs> Another one? Joy. 
Bring more he seems quite encouraging, doesn't he? All right, well, with that and with somebody talking about licking rocks, I think that's where we're going to leave this today. Thank you, as always, for joining me. I hope that you had fun with these fun little side quests. I know I did. I do love the Rowie quest. And honestly, Scraps the Little Knoll is possibly one of the cutest little things that they've added into WoW. And I say that even thinking that Baby Tuscar, when I first saw them, could be the cutest thing WoW had ever added. But, I don't know. Baby Knolls are right up there with cute. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you know of any more underwater bars in Dragonflight. Like I said, I know of one other that is in um, the Waking Shores, but if it's anything like VFA, there probably should be one per area. So I'm thinking there should be a couple more that I just haven't found yet, and I'm curious to know if you have. But until then, next time we will be doing some adventuring here in Whaler's Nook. So thank you as always for watching. Hit subscribe if you don't mind. It's always free, and I will see you next time. Say goodbye, Gertrude.